So here we'll show you how to show the Firebase notification at the top and some important steps to remember. Now, well, here is my Postman and uh, if I hit Postman right now, uh, I'll see that over here it says success and this is a new uh, multicast ID or I would say message ID. But of course, uh, I don't see it over here, which I was supposed to see. And if we take a look at the now, if we take a look over here, we do see that we have some messages that popped up. Now, the first one is on message, which is this one, actually. And then after that, we do see that this is the message that we sent earlier. OK, now, of course, this message, we can verify one more time that it is able to send message, new message number one. OK. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna click on that, and here we'll see that it sh shows the new message number one. So, it, which means that we are able to get messages from Firebase. Now, the problem is it's not showing the message, and actually that part is relatively easy. First, you have to have a function in your uh, class where you handle these messages. So, in general, I'll call it show notification, and I'll pass the title and body to it. Now. The title and body actually refers to this body and title over here. Now I'm going to pass it to this uh, function which is called Android notification details and then here you have your channel name channel ID and based on that you have to create an object and after creating the object you have to pass this object to notification detail class which is also coming from flutter local notification and then most importantly you have to call this one over here so here it says that uh, flutter local notification plugin dot show okay so this you have to call this one as you call you have to pass at least title and body a lot of other information could be default and doesn't matter so now this is what we have over here so what i'm going to do i'm going to call this one from here because this method this uh, on listen callback function gets called when we have message right so we're going to call this one so i'm going to call it using like this and we say that this is not null. now where is this coming from once again you do see that as you use a postman you are passing this word which is called notification and it has json object which is called body and title so this is exactly what we are doing over here now we are going to restart our app and this time uh what are we going to do we're going to uh send messages one more time so this is the message this is the function that we created early and uh, we'll see that everything works well as well as we'll see the message over here at the top so now let's go ahead and open our postman so let's go ahead and open our postman and i'm going to click over here and over here it says that success and we do see that there's a new message number one now we can do it a few different times to make sure that yes it's working correctly okay great so if you miss uh this function which is called i mean eventually uh, show this function definitely you'll not be able to show the notification at the top thank you